Hey everybody, um, news flash, I've got a sub for today, so uh, one of my kids is sick, so I'm at home watching them. Uh, today, uh, we'll continue on though, um, because of the nature of this entire year, everything's virtual, so I know you can do this without me. Um, today we're going to talk more about properties of water, so um, what that's going to look like is for a short little while in this video, I'm going to breeze through some notes I would have uh, presented in person with you guys. Um, there's going to be a series of uh, videos illustrating different properties of water that you can check out on Canvas. And your main goal is by the end of the hour, the one thing you need to do today is you need to submit this classification of matter activity on Canvas. Okay, like you need to go back in on Canvas, click submit because it's due at the end of class today. And I'll grade it like probably around one o'clock or something tomorrow if I don't have a kid um, needing attention at the time. I'll go ahead and grade it right away. So um, make that happen, all right? So um, just a news flash on uh, Canvas here. Um, you're going to see uh, the classification of matter. Again, that is the thing you're clicking to open um, and submit. So you'll have to click in, chase all the blue buttons, click open assignment, click submit, um, and make sure you got this whole thing done. Um, that is your one assignment that is definitely getting graded by the end of today. Um, that being said, um, in addition to that, though, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit more about properties of water. And you'll get to check out some cool videos I would have shown in class, but you can watch um, on your own computer. So um, let's take a look. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the differences between ionic and hydrogen bonding. They're both kind of polar. There is a charge in each, but um, hydrogen bonding is much weaker, and it's not truly ionic. It's kind of sort of um, charged, but it doesn't really get rid of electrons like they do in ionic. And because water is such a polar molecule, um, it results in all of these crazy properties, which uh, I don't want to bore you too much because you have the slides here, but um, it can hold on to a lot of heat. So that property is called high specific heat. It, water is kind of sticky in the sense that water sticks to other water molecules. That's called cohesion. Um, water also sticks to other substances. That's called adhesion. And again, there's going to be sort of lots of videos for you to watch here to check this out. Um, so for instance, I'm just kind of giving you a breeze through it. You're going to see a space video um, where this guy is messing around with um, water and a washcloth. Um, some cool stuff happens. There's no gravity, so it's really easy to see like this video with the wet washcloth is an example of adhesion, okay? Adhesion when you're watching this one. Water sticking to other stuff, in this case, the washcloth. Um, there's another sweet video where this guy is messing around, again, in space with water, and there's no gravity, so water makes a sphere, and he does some really cool things here. Um, water sticking to itself is cohesion, okay? Um, a substance kind of bonding to itself is cohesion. Um, what else? There's uh, the high heat I talked about. Water can hold on to a lot of heat. Here's a quick video that's like a heat map of the earth and the oceans um, and how warm they are through time. They keep our world warm um, in many ways. Um, one that we're not going to talk too much about, what was kind of interesting, is capillary action, the ability of water to draw itself up a tube if it's narrow enough without any extra help. Due to the whole balance of cohesion and adhesion, water kind of like climbs its way up. Uh, you can see this if you dip a paper towel in water, the water will travel up the paper towel without any help. Plants use this effect um, to draw water up them. Like, you know, how does a 30-foot tree get water up to the leaves? Um, capillary action is definitely it. And so there's also like things you could do at home with celery and food coloring to show that like through time, the food coloring travels through the leaves. If you wait for, you know, a couple of days or something. Um, so uh, that's another example. 
Um, and then polarity of water. This is a cool video with a balloon where somebody got a bunch of static on it. And since water is a polar molecule, uh, the difference in charge there, if you have a very thin stream of water in a balloon, uh, you can actually bend the stream of water without touching it just by using magnetism because it's a polar molecule. Super cool. Uh, looks like a messy experiment, but um, pretty awesome. Anyways, that's a whirlwind tour of some properties. Um, uh, it's questions to think about how does cohesion help an insect walk on water. Uh, these are all in your online book if you really want to uh, test yourself for the correct answers. Um, uh, a great example, you know how water makes a curve when it's in a thin glass container? It's called a meniscus. Um, water holds itself up the sides. Is You, you got to ask yourself, is that due to adhesion or cohesion? Mercury does the exact opposite. So you got to think there, um, what the heck is causing that difference? Why does mercury form a shape like this and water form a shape like that? It all has to do with cohesion and adhesion and which is stronger. Okay. Um, water is really good at dissolving almost anything. So we say it's a solvent. Solvents dissolve, you might remember. Um, uh, they dis like salt in water. Water is the solvent, it dissolves salt. Or if you've may ever made Kool-Aid with sugar packets, water dissolves, it's the solvent, and the Kool-Aid stuff uh, mixture is uh, dissolved. The thing dissolved is often called this other word, a solute, which you can see kind of right in here with this text. Um, boy, your blood is uh, made of a lot of water as well in there, including plasma. So we'll... We'll kind of maybe come back to this uh, when I'm back there with you because it's kind of complicated. But um, your blood and the plasma in it um, dissolves quite a lot of substances that are uh, good for you, uh, like vitamins and stuff like that. So, um, uh, you know, well, actually, certain things dissolve and certain things don't. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that. We'll talk more about that later. Um, think... And, uh, for the most part, leave that there. Um, you know, water solutions, uh, in addition to just water with salt or something, acids and bases are basically water with something that makes the water acidic dissolved or something that makes the water basic dissolved. And there's a whole pH scale. Hopefully you've heard of the pH scale in your life. Um, we'll learn more about it. I don't want to get into it too much right now without me being there. Okay, and then that's about it for the notes today. I'm going to stop there. So all I want you to remember are properties of water for today, um, knowing the difference between some of these. The definitions are in your notes of many of the ones I talked about, including a couple that I didn't. Um, so if you're looking for that, it's in there for you. Um, okay, so keeping that in mind, what do you do after this video? Uh, there's going to be a bunch of links to properties of water videos, the ones I kind of showed you. You can look at those on your own. Just turn the sound off, check them out. And what I would do in your notebook is try to like write a definition in your own words of what the heck cohesion is or what the heck adhesion is, um, et cetera, for most of the properties. Again, those are all listed in the notes. But I would watch those cool videos, try to enjoy them. Uh, if the sub is able to run the projector, maybe you watch them as a class because um, they're they're pretty cool. Uh, beyond that, again, the one thing you're doing today is finishing up the classification of matter activity and submitting by the end of this hour. That's when it's due. I'll grade it tomorrow, okay? Don't tell me you didn't know because I'm telling you right now for sure. Hand it in. It's due. All right? Other than that, um, hope to see you soon. Depends on how sick my kid is over the next couple of days. So um, with that, I guess I'll either see you in person or in the next video.